Welcome to the I Ching Cafe. My name is Belinda Dawson, and wonderful to have you here with me for our weekly I Ching overview for the week commencing the 20th of May 2024. Firstly, thank you so much for all the wonderful get well wishes that came through. I really felt the love and it made the world of difference. So thank you. Now, last week we had Hexagram 56, The Wanderer on New Adventures. And certainly there was some actual travel happening for some last week, we could see from the comments. So for you, what was the journey, the new path of discovery you were going on last week? And remember that tricky changing line in the sixth position that cautioned us about taking the journey very seriously and not being too lighthearted because after laughter comes tears. So I hope that we all got serious and focused and got into that wonderful attention to detail that Hexagram 62 was encouraging us to work with, being the chickens and focusing on every little seed, really getting into the week, which I did. I set my intention of being diligent and focused on the detail and getting organized and really taking things seriously, wearing it and being willing to wear it heavily for the week. And it really helped me to work through some challenges that were in the week. And I hope for you too, there was something for you that came to guide and inspire you as you were the wanderer on this new journey and learning how to travel well. As always, if anything came up for you, please do share a comment. Right, this week, the 20th of May, as always, we ask the I Ching, what should we focus on in the sea of everything that's going on for all of us? What is the common thread that binds us all together that we can really focus on and maximize the week? And this week, it is a locked hexagram. Okay, that means there's no changing lines, no fizz pops of change. There's one hexagram for this week. It's short and sweet, to the point. And what it really encourages us to do when we get these locked hexagrams or unchanging hexagrams is to see it as a double down on that information, on that energy of that hexagram. It's almost like the eating is saying, you really, really need to pay attention to this. I don't need to give you anything else or any other details or any other focus points because this is an energy I really need you to focus on to maximize the week. As always, we are in choice. How we work with these things, we can Cast it aside, that's absolutely fine. But I find for me personally, working with these weeklies has been unbelievably powerful in really focusing on what's really important and not getting distracted. So I hope for you it is the case too. So <laughs> which one is locked this week? I'm sure you're thinking, oh, please make it a good one. Okay, we're not going to be in judgment, but this is a hexagram that's going to require some work, but it's Okay. It's a good hexagram. It's hexagram 60, limitation. This hexagram, structure-wise, all right, we have a lake on the bottom and we have water on the top. This is an old friend that has come back over and over and over. We have a lake that's already full of water and we have rivers pouring into that lake. What do we have? We have the risk of overflow, overwhelm, overdoing, collapse. The visual is a dam wall being breached because too much water is coming down the ravine, pouring into that lake, it's already full, and whoop, going over the other side, unless we manage our situation well. So you've heard me often talk about this idea with this hexagram, that we are a dam management, (laughs) okay, that's D-A-M, right? We're into dam management this week because we have tools, we have technology, we have a console, we have checks and balances, we have sluice gates that we can open and close. We can control what we let through this channel, how we work with flow, how we put in place those controls to monitor and adjust and tweak the flow that we do not get into overwhelm. Because at the end of the day, that water pouring over the end of the dam causes damage, right? Dam Damage, okay. And so what we do is we control the situation. This is a week of control, okay. This is a week of boundaries to manage that flow to not prevent the overwhelm. Because we'll recover from that overwhelm, right? We will. 
But why create all the drama? No, we don't need the drama. We need to be calm and controlling this week. Controlling is an attribute this week that is good. Okay, within balance. So this hexagram, being so double down, okay, with being locked is saying, is an area of our life, our business, our teams, our world, our personal lives, our family lives, where controls are needed, boundaries are needed, structure is needed, lists are needed, okay? We need to take a project, break it up into chunks, take the issue, break it up into pieces, take our diary, slot things into logical time frames, because we use these kinds of tools. These are our sluice gates that we open and close. Use the technologies and the systems you have in your team to control the flow, the pace, the to-dos. We can also work with this understanding of this hexagram when it comes to personal relationships, okay? Because this is a hexagram that's saying some boundaries are required, okay? You might find that your challenge is that you give too much, okay, give, 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 and at the end of the day, everyone's got what they need, and you're left depleted, overwhelmed, overwrought with commitments, okay. This hexagram comes to really bring us something tangible to work with, to see, to see where we are at risk of losing ourselves through a lack of boundaries and controls and that damn wall, maybe it's D-A-M-N in this case, So we work with boundaries, we work with controls. If we just let things go this week and let nature take its course, okay, we risk the water breaching over the edge of the dam and we have to take responsibility for that, okay. Let's not spend an entire weekend being smashed by that overwhelm to recover so we can be back at work chirpy on the Monday. Let's use that weekend time to be productive and fulfilled and Nourished, okay. We don't have to create drama where we don't need drama. So this week is a fixed focus, okay. It's giving us the chance, the opportunity to see where controls and flows and process and structure and to-do lists and mechanisms and levers, okay, are going to create some order and create a little bit of structure and flow to harness the flow that's happening. That's why we're doing it. But we're also going to take a warning out of this hexagram. Obviously, we don't do anything. We just let that river crash through our dam, okay? We're going to deal with the consequences of that. What we can also do is we can also overdo it. Uh So (laughs) for each of these hexagrams, there's a point, a fulcrum, a point of balance where going too far is not great either. So what is going too far? What does hexagram look like? Austerity, harsh discipline, okay? (laughs) You know, uh, this hexagram can often come up when you've got issues around team performance issues where you need to put in some disciplinary processes. It's like putting in place those kind of boundaries that don't, you know, let things go crazy. Those kinds of issues are there as well, but we can also go too far, too be, be too hard, too forced, too unnatural in our work. And there are plenty of changing lines if we had any that talk about where we go too far. Just bear in mind, keep that in the back of your head this week. That just keeps things in balance. But there's at least one area for us all this week where we are really being asked to be honest and focused around where we don't have those controls. Where the mechanisms are at risk of failure. Where just the slightest little acceleration in activity makes the whole thing fall over. And I sometimes experience, maybe you have this as well, is that the hexagram starts coming in <laughs> a little earlier. You know, they, they almost sit like little circles of change, our weeklies, right? Where as one is wrapping up, you know, we've got wanderer and attention to detail from last week. We've got this energy coming in and it kind of overlaps. It doesn't sit neatly as, you know, Monday morning, whatever your time zone is, boof. Okay, here we have this one. They sit as interlocking cycles. So I know that from Friday even, this past week, that there was an incident that is related to this exact hexagram where there wasn't enough controls and structure 
and it created a lot of drama that was just noise. Okay, we don't need noise, we don't need drama, we don't need stress, we don't need our adrenaline pumping into our blood unnecessarily. No, not good for us. We can do better, and this week we're being asked to do better. Well, I hope that helps you this week. Focus on the dam. Think of my words when you feel that, oh, this is going too fast, this is too much what I do. Think about your dam. Go straight to the structures you have around you that you can start manipulating and moving into position to control. Stop. Whoa. Okay. Controls. Let's put them in place. Let's break this thing up. Let's allocate the jobs. Let's get organized here because that's how we capture and harness this wonderful flow that's coming to help us. But it can go completely overboard if we don't have the discipline to manage it well. Good luck with the week. And if you like this episode or got value out of it, thumbs up would be great. And of course, if you're new to the channel or to the podcast, hitting subscribe and the little bell icon or the follow button, you will then get the weekly and monthly episodes straight into your app or any special episodes I do. And you can stay working with the I Ching as it comes up as we work through it together. On a last note, this week, we will be celebrating I Ching Cafe, the channel that is, and the podcast, our fifth birthday. The 22nd of May was the first ever episode. Wow. Five years. What an amazing journey. So I am going to celebrate this week and I'm going to thank the I Ching and thank those who brought the I Ching to us over many, many generations for this opportunity to work with this wonderful tool here in 2024. Here we are working with it and applying it and wrestling with what does it mean for us in our practical lives in the unique and weird and wonderful world that we are in right now, full of challenges, full of opportunities. How do we unlock our lives now? And the I Ching has been such a blessing to me and I hope to you as well. So happy fifth birthday, I Ching Cafe. And thank you to you and every single person who has come and commented and watched and participated and worked so beautifully with the I Ching information we have worked through together. It is such a blessing. So thank you. Have a wonderful week. Happy birthday.